Happy Friday. What was it uh, Wednesday? Say again? Let's hope it's not a Wednesday. Oh, well, it's always a Wednesday in these games. No Wednesday. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday on a Friday is really what it is. Anyway, so that's where we left off last week. Okay, all loaded up, ready to go. Password is uh, not the same password that we use on V Rising. 20 days Fridays? Oh. No, there's no such thing as 20 days, is there? I mean, Wednesday is very much a real thing. 20's day is, is not a real thing. Okay, so Hurricane's attached, so it's not Jeff. Hurricane. This is Jeff. Little Jeff. Betty, you are. Okay, so this is a cast of characters. Again, we are running the Palace of Ice uh, DLC. Um, we will not probably see the majority of that content until we finish the Crown of the Magister uh, campaign here. We could have started with it, but uh, Jeff, uh, Hobo, and Hurricane have never finished this campaign before, so we figured, sure, why not? It's, it's a full level 10, or take the level 10 stuff, then we'll move on to the DLC. But in the meantime, we will be showing off the races and stuff that come with the DLC, which are the Tieflings, which uh, we have Gimpy, uh, G is the wizard, Betty you are the ranger, and then Hurricane the bard, and then uh, the gnome is being played by Little Jeff. <laughs> Little Jeff the fighter, he's our tank of the group. So, we all set, we're all set. So, just need everybody to radio. There we go. Okay, so, ah, Fridays, happy Fridays, so 20's fr 20 day Friday, I, I don't think we can get a good one for that, Wednesday works, Wednesday works every day, 20's Friday, but I don't think this game, I don't know, I mean critical misses happen a lot in this game, but they don't seem to be as, uh... Twenty seem to be just as common as ones in this game for some reason. At least it's, I know it's not... proper data collection, that's all the fun stuff. But it feels like Celasta's dice rolls are more balanced in comparison to uh, Wrath of the Righteous. Wrath of the Righteous seems to be one heavy. It just... Maybe it may or may not be without... I mean, people have done, you know, studies on it, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, collecting data. Um, but it seems not good. It seems they have to go the other way. Of course, I don't know if they're comparing... Like, my big experience with the, the one problem over in Wrath of the Righteous is it's not that the ones come up so often. It's that they come in batches. Like, you'll get, like, you know, you get five attacks or five dice rolls in one round, and three of them will be ones. Yet you don't see that happening with twenties. Again, totally not not proper data collection stuff. It's just a general feeling, which I know isn't official and blah blah blah. But it's still, it I don't get that feeling in Celasta, which is weird because you'd think if they, you know, using a similar you know random generate non random number generator would be the same thing, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, I haven't said that. It's more balanced than Celasta, I think. Yeah, it, it feels more balanced. I, for whatever reason, it feels more balanced than Celasta. I don't know if they're doing anything different or what, but... Anyway. Our first mission has been accomplished. We were supposed to travel to the Ancient Tower. You've learned that the scouts from Karolem Garrison were exploring around the Ancient Tower. Its location is now on your map. Go there and investigate. Minosaur, I can bring... Oh, that's right, we need to go find a head still. That's the only thing we have to do at the moment. So, if you're not familiar with how multiplayer works in Celasta, basically each person gets control of their own little character. While you can see other people's and other characters and what's in their inventories and whatever, you cannot take stuff out of their inventories, but you can send stuff from your inventory over to them if you'd like. You don't have to, but you can. Um, during combat, you know, that kind of fun stuff. During level up, they control their own level in it process. And, uh, yeah, all good. So where are we headed? We're going, oh, that's right, we're going to adventure. 
can go get lost in the wilderness. If we have anything really to, yeah. Leaving the area. And again, this feels like the they they rotated the camera ninety degrees to the left. No, yeah, to the left. Because I could have swear when I first played this, the first time I played this campaign, Care Lem was to the north directly of Care Kiflin. Or Siflin. Is it Kiflin or Siflin? I would play it's B Kiflin. But um, no, I could have swore this was actually rotated ninety degrees that way. The whole map was. So I don't know the thinking behind that, but it's okay. And we're headed to possible Sorak base. Traveling. Normal stuff. So it's going to be a little bit of a trip. Betty is feeding us with a good berry spell so we don't have to buy any food. An angry violence has been collected. Oh, that's right. The traveling through the wilderness gets us ingredients, too. Oh, look. Bandits. Shall we ambush them? Or should we hide? Ambush them. Ambush them? Six of them. Hide. Ambush. Hide. Little Jeff. Get XP. Yes, XP so we can get to uh, 10 faster. Rolling into the extra content at level 12 or so. That'd be fun. Look, it's a battle. Oh yeah, we can all see in the dark. Jeff, kill them all. <laughs> so where are they? So there are four of them to the north, at least, that I can see. And then two to the southwest. How you guys want to do it? Get the ones up high first, or...? Uh, can you get up there? There's four of them up there. Yeah, I can get up there. I just want to confirm if you guys want to go up there. Uh, um, I can try to charm the two that are down here with us. Yeah, that'll work. High ground. Okay, I'm going up high. We're still. I wonder if we're level three or are we level four. I think we're level three. I just don't have a whole lot of hit points because wizard. I think we just reached level four with the quest from the blackboard. Wait till Did the next one. Okay. Forgot the look. Yeah, we got the, the first first uh, traits or feats. That's right. Yeah, that's right. One down. Ah, again. So they're humans, right? No, I meant they're elves. At least only one of them looks to be human. The thug. But the, the other bandits look to be elves, so they can see in the dark. I'm kind of hoping they're going to have problems with that, but... Charm them so they can't attack us. <coughs> Excuse me. I could see them. I had a line of sight, but I guess it's too far away still. Oh, well, you're down on this. bells. Hmm. It's okay, they'll be getting closer. Inspire. Might be easier, fa it might be faster to kill him instead of charming him. I don't have that many hit points. Hmm. 
Oh, no fireball. And the winner is me. I win again. Yeah, I don't think we need to charm him. If you, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, if you get a hit on this next one, because the thug is only what? Well, we don't have any hit points he has, but he can't be that much more. Although he could have be in the twenty to thirty range. Oh no. Stab it loose. Yeah, he's a human, so he shouldn't be able to see well at all. I mean, we're in dim light here, but... No, you're in complete darkness. Which he should be too. Oh, he's in dim light. Fire. Spell or step him with uh, rapier. Mm, let's see, with dim light. I don't know if you get it. I mean, we are resting after this, so I can go out, go all out with the spells, right? Sure. I don't see why not. I mean, if you don't kill him, I will. You're evil. No. He's just right there and he's asking for it. And he rolls. So, five damage. So we're looking at probably minimum 20 health points. Hit points. There's your one. Arcana control. Aw, oh, still only dim light over here. That fire's pretty damn bright. or so. Actually, no. 25-ish. 25 plus, I would guess. Less than 30. Huh. Yeah, bandits are wimpy at their 11 hit points. See? Disadvantage because of the dim light. going after Gimpy? Because you're the most dangerous one out of the four. Yeah, it's probably more like I have the lowest armor class. <laughs> That's probably what it really is. Like those in the dress? I'm not wearing a dress. I don't think I am.
not a great roll, right? Yep, rolled a 1 out of an 1d8 rolls a 1. Who's he shooting? This vanished because engaged in melee, right? You'll die like the rest. Arcana, Evo. Overkill. Oh, I didn't even get the overkill in. Wimpy bandits. 56 XP hype! Yep. <laughs> 56 hype XP. Oh, actually, this gives us a chance. Remember, I screwed up my spellbook before. Or I, I didn't screw it up, I just didn't take care of it correctly, I remember right now. Oh, they didn't give us a. Hmm. Didn't really give us a proper long rest, did they? Can we interrupt? Huh. More bandits just as we go in. Good job, Betty, with the spotting ambush these guys. Let's see a dwarf this time, it looked like. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way, you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. Also, please click the Like buttons on his videos. You will make him feel better about himself. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Friday. Uh, it's a bandit captain and evil priest. I would go up to the priest first. Where is she? Are you the priest? It's a captain. There she is. Yep. Although, crossbows. You see two crossbows back there. It's been mocked. Wow, my initiative rolls really suck. So, sitting about 25, maybe 30. More coming your way. Yeah, about 30 or so, maybe a little. Yeah, less than 30. Malmis. 
Ooh, that little priest. It won't hurt. I win uh. again. Didn't even know what hit him. Nope. Anyway. Where's my fireball when I need one? Let's sleep. The number of cruises is on the town. Let's see if this works. Grand slot over two die. What does it do? First slot. One plus two dice. Sure. Ah. Trying to get more than two slept, but it doesn't look like that's gonna work, so. Arcana Encho Malmis. Eh, got two. They look tired. He should nudge his friend as he walks by. Uh. Ow. Arcana Rebo Malmis. Ah. Another victory. No quarter given. She got a lot of hit points. You probably take out that uh, crossbow piercing pretty easily. No problem. Good damage rolls. He doesn't even have a staff in his hand. What the hell? Oh, that's good rolls too. Getting lucky today. That's almost max damage for me. Too bad there's no actual backstabbing in this game. D&D 5.1 disappoints me. What was the choice for you there, Jeff? Dice roll? Dice roll. Okay. Right here. Well, 
Well, how about steal the kill? Close. Arcana, Evo, Malmis. Ah. <sighs> Say Jeff would take from taking that one. Damage will screw me. Ow. Apparently he doesn't like halflings. What? The captain doesn't oh sorry, you're a gnome. Sorry. I apologize. You're a gnome. Almost as bad as a halfling. Holy frick. You look like a halfling. I owe you one. Look like a halfling with really small feet. How long does the sleep last? Oh, a long time. Ten rounds, it looks like. At least dead in his sleep. Seen worse. Clipe. That's right there. That roll. One at fifty XP. Hey. Oh, two fifty for them. Nice. Just arrows. I guess they don't have any real good gear, do they? Okay, let's see. Oh, this isn't a campfire. Oh. We on down the street. Yep. Get ready to the blue box to the west. Southwest. I'm gonna give it a chance to camp here. an ancient tree old enough to have survived the cataclysm. More food. This is the tower, not the library, right? Yeah, it's supposedly the tower. Oh yeah, the sorry, the the library is over in the uh, Kerlem or whatever it's called. Okay, so first mission accomplished. We've arrived. It's 
Sneaky, sneaky. What's going on here? These aren't Sorax, they seem human. What exactly are they doing? What's it look like they're doing? They're digging something up. Good rolls. A tower of magic, perhaps, owned by one of the masters of Manakalan's Arcaneum. Who are these people? Scavengers? Hard to say. I see no tent or flag signifying their allegiance. Well, there is one way to find out. Perhaps we should sneak a little closer. Or simply walk in and see how friendly they are. <laughs> how brave and stupid are we? Or the brave or stupid? We're very brave. Are we? I don't think so. I think we're smart. Question is which side of the camp do we want to go in? The right or the left? I say right. Right side? Okay. Right side's always right. Right's right. Sometimes. Uh, where's good? I think through the tents from the south is a good option. Say again? Through the tents oh, from the south. Through the tents. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going okay, so down there. Yeah, we don't look suspicious at all, creeping through their tent line. Shh, they can't see us. We're sneaky. So now what? I uh, hope it needs to get a little bit closer to us, just in case. Because from back there, you're not going to have a whole lot of shots, if it comes to that point. What if they're friendly? That's, well, even better. So how do we tell? Um, well, let me know when to expose myself then. It's probably the best way to go. You guys are in position you want to be? <laughs> I can just do a sleep spell and see how many we can get. Uh, it's, it's an attack. We should give them the benefit of the doubt, shouldn't we? Sure. Okay, so when you guys are in a good position and you want to fight from them, let me know, and then... I will go to a spot where they'll see me. I... Yep, I'm taking right there. Okay. Okay, I'm good. You yep. good, Hurricane? I will switch positions with you. Where you're... Now I will get there. Okay. Okay. Exposing myself. <laughs> Could have got a better expression than that. Alright, well, no talking let's do it. Hmm, apparently they didn't want to talk to us. That person is awfully pale. Back up by the entrance. Looks like there won't be any parlay. Well, she has red hair, so it makes sense. Ouch. No, oh, she does. Look at the portrait. That's how you can always tell a real, real redhead is they're, they don't have a tan. Okay, so... Too closest to us, maybe, or try to. Okay. 
Yeah, probably. Too bad I could have got away with doing that before combat. Just saying. I thought we were the good guys. But we don't know who these guys are, so... I mean, they could be the bad guys. I doubt they're good guys, though. I'm always the bad guy. <laughs> oh. Uh, can't get in close enough to arm. I'll stay here and ready something up. This is how we know they're the bad guys. One of their names is Cult Fanatic. You never have a good guy named Cult Fanatic. Oh, I didn't know that ahead of time. Yeah, well, now we do that. See, so we now we know we made the right decision. No, we did the wrong decision by me getting out of the open like that. <laughs> You're fine. You got cover still. game frozen up on you guys as well? No. I see Hobo oh. is playing. Oh, I have nice to turn. Unknown human turn. It's, it's frozen yep. for me. Oh. Yep. Okay, then. Let's do a reload. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Friday. Not sure about Hobo and Hurricane Gimpy, but Vern's voice was very distorted there at the end on the Discord. Very. I'll ask if she's drowning. Really? Okay. Hmm. Still understandable, but very, very distorted. Do we still say ho see Hobo is playing? Oh, yeah, we, I see it's uh, Hobo's turn. Okay. Yep, Hobo's playing. Jumbled in the stream too. Oh, okay. So it might be a. See, she sounds fine to me. Yep, that's what I figured, and that's why I was letting it up. Okay, thank you. The Vukos says we jumbled in the stream too. I don't know what that is, but what's going on there? That's a nice swing. There's 
a fanatic. Jeff needs to know. Hey Veronica, who is the coolest viewer? Who is the viewer? Let me think about that. Is Jeff cool? He rides an effing buffalo. It doesn't get cooler than that. Thank you. While I agree with Vern and everything she just said, uh, yeah, still distorted. Okay. She's working for some reason. Hello, meat bag. A little slow there. Was she distorted there? A little bit. She wasn't saying much, so it's kind of hard to tell. Right. Maybe get her to sing like a little song or something, then we can tell. I'll sing a song. Hey Veronica, who is your favorite pet? Not Scout. Because she is gone, 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 and good riddance. She can mooch off other suckers <gasps> now. Yep, she's still distorted. Not quite as bad, but still quite noticeable. Dropping out for the game or just Veronica? Everything? That's the way. Well, if it dropped out right now. That's because I'm when I all tab out the sound for the 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 sound for the game goes away because I'll tap for whatever reason it doesn't 
work. It, it's one of those games, unfortunately, where the sound doesn't carry over or can be heard when it's alt tabbed out. But it should be back now to normal. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Killed him, right? Or did you? I was clicking on my screen right the moment uh, it was my turn. Oh. So I attacked, but okay. My voice was a little bit broken as well. Hmm. I sound fine on Discord, right? Sleep. Nothing but murderers. That's what, what do I think? do. <laughs> Humans. What's that symbol there? The tattoo? Looks like an A. They all have it. Guess they're all part of the same club. Well, there's no reason to assume it signifies something sinister. Do you think it has anything to do with the Sorax? That's an old Timarian symbol. It stands for Arevad. He was a Timarian god, but he didn't come to Salasta. I can't remember much more. We better be careful. And don't forget, we need the head of a Sorak. But these are humans. Hello Gimpy, it is time to take a break. Go get some more water while you are up. Your next break is in one hour. Somebody got the bag up uh, top of the scaffold. On the right from the entrance? Yeah, sorry. <coughs> yeah. Wow, that was slow. Wow. Hmm. Well, take a break before we go in. Okay, so I'm gonna take a real quick break. I need to get up, stretch legs, get some water real quick. We need to check out Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs. Um, and we dig in to see what's going on with the slowdown stuff. Anyway, oh, look at that. It's frozen there too. OBS is all kinds of running slow. It's part of the problem, I think. Anyway, gonna take a break. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.